My patients are 90% women. And of these women, over half are suffering from menopausal symptoms when they come to me for help. Why is that? Well, there's a hidden connection that no one is talking about. First of all, just because the symptoms of menopause are common does not mean they're normal. Symptoms like hot flashes and night sweats and vaginal dryness and atrophy and low libido should not be intolerable during this very ordinary transition time for women. A woman's ovaries decline in output incrementally as early as after age 40, 45, and certainly as a woman approaches 50. That is a natural, normal process that should go off without age. The only reason it doesn't if your adrenal glands are not doing their job supporting the ovaries as they decline. You heard me right. The symptoms associated with menopause are actually more of an adrenal problem than they are an ovarian one, which we call adrenal fatigue. And adrenal fatigue isn't just contributing to the, those menopausal symptoms, it's also causing the brain fog, the anxiety, depression, insomnia, exhaustion, weight gain. So here's what's happening in your body, which causes menopause to be so difficult. So as I said earlier, women's hormones gradually decline after age 40, 45, 50. But during that same time, the adrenal glands start to increase their production of those same hormones and hormone precursors, and what eases a woman through menopause without a hitch. In fact, when we test a woman's ovarian hormones postmenopausally, much of them are coming from the adrenals, not the ovaries. But what happens if a woman's adrenals can't rise to that occasion because of years of chronic stress and overuse, all of those symptoms are going to start and they're going to stick with you and worsen until you heal the adrenals. So why aren't GPs and endocrinologists and gynecologists talking about this? There's a few reasons. It's inconvenient. It means treating the root cause rather than throwing hormones at you or a pill for every symptom and spending 10 minutes with you and letting you go. Healing the root cause, it requires time spent with the patient getting to know the patient fully, treating them holistically. There is not a quick fix pharmaceutical for this problem. And second, when they survey medical doctors, a very high percentage say they didn't get enough education and guidance on menopause when they were in school and residency. So when menopause and perimenopause hit, women tend to go to the gynecologist for three main reasons, vasomotor, metabolic, brain. The typical vasomotor symptoms are hot flashes and night sweats, which then messes up the sleep. The altered metabolism um, is generally associated with weight gain, as well as these effects on the brain, like brain fog, anxiety, depression, even mood changes. So the vasomotor symptoms, so vasomotor means the balance between the opening or vasodilation and the closing or vasoconstriction of your blood vessel. So those symptoms of hot flashes and night sweats are strongly connected with the function of ovarian hormones in the brain and in the rest of the body. All of those hormones are in the stress hormones too, are what we call vasoactive. So it means that they contribute to that balance between vasodilation, vasoconstriction, too much vasodilation leads to an opening of those blood vessels, heat, flashes, sweats. But what we have to remember is that the bulk of those ovarian hormones, menopausally, they should be coming from the adrenals now and not the ovaries. So if you've got those vasomotor symptoms, your adrenals are simply not doing their job. Second reason women seek help around that time, weight. So the time of perimenopause, menopause, it is often associated with weight gain for the majority of women. Now, some of that weight gain is directly related to the decline in ovarian hormones associated, uh, which is associated with the slowing of the metabolism. But your metabolism doesn't have to slow down during that time. When the adrenal glands are able to pick up the slack as, as the ovaries decline, that slowed metabolism can be avoided. Now, your adrenals also control your blood sugar regulation and your energy as a whole. So if your adrenals are dysfunctional, you're most likely going to gain weight, especially around the middle. Now, the good news is that even if that weight gain has already occurred, when your adrenals are healed, this added weight will slowly fall off. My patients all see their metabolism, their energy, and their weight return to normal over time. Now, I certainly understand this craze, right, for these, this new class of weight loss drugs. But the use of these meds does not fix the underlying problem. You will still have adrenal fatigue, you will still have symptoms, and it's going to get worse over time. These drugs also have really significant side effects, substantial cost, and very severe potential long-term side effects. There really is no quick fix. But I also understand the frustration with the lack of accurate guidance and the useful advice that you get from the medical community. 
beyond, you know, eat less, exercise more. During menopausal years, especially when you're dealing with adrenal fatigue, it's going to take more than that. Now, the third reason women seek help is because of the effects on the brain, brain fog, mood changes. I don't have to tell the female patients in my practice about the fact that ovarian hormones affect your brain. I mean, they've been through puberty. They've been through their monthly cycle of fluctuating hormones. Maybe they've even been through pregnancy as well. They absolutely already know how the brain and mood are affected during those times. So, of course, during menopause, there are going to be changes in a woman's brain as well. But even worse, if she's dealing with the adrenal problems. So there's receptors in the brain for estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. It's all over the body, but definitely in the brain as well. The hormone changes around menopause affect the function of the brain because of that. If adrenal fatigue isn't addressed, then those ovarian hormones, they're not doing their job in the brain on top of the stress hormones, which are too active in the brain. And that imbalance is going to cause anxiety, depression, irritability, other mood changes. It's also going to lead to what we commonly call brain fog, which it's a lot more problematic than the name lets on. I mean, memory problems, cognitive issues, even decision-making. I mean, to the point that many think they have early dementia. My patients will commonly say, I just don't feel like myself anymore. So if your brain is taking a hit during that menopausal transition, which it invariably does, your treatment needs to focus on the adrenals, not just your ovarian hormones. Okay, so now you're in perimenopause, menopause, and you have some of the symptoms, so you go to your doctor. Well, what happens there? Well, if you're not outright dismissed in the first place when you hear, oh, this is just the way it is, then the typical recommendation is going to be hormone replacement therapy, right? HRT. That's a reasonable symptomatic approach, despite the fact that it doesn't correct the underlying cause, but it's okay. But my recommendation here is you want to use bioidentical hormones rather than synthetic hormones, referred to as BHRT, bioidentical. So to me, bioidentical means hormones that are replaced at a level that is identical to what a healthy person should be producing at your age and the chemical structure of that hormone that you're going to replace is identical to what your body naturally produces. So if you want to know more about BHRT, I've got a few videos that I really get into it, so check those out as well. Again, it's really important that your doctor prescribes doses of BHRT at a level exactly as your body would normally produce. And to do otherwise, you're going to invite complications. You're going to see side effects, adverse reactions, and pretty undesirable hormone and metabolic imbalances. So BHRT can be a stopgap between your symptoms and actually healing the body. But remember that your body only needs those hormones because the adrenals aren't doing their job. When you fix the adrenal fatigue, your adrenals will support that passage through menopause, supplying the ovarian hormones naturally. Your symptoms are gonna fade, you'll lose the excess weight, mental clarity and mood balance out. No need for BHRT. But not only will healing your adrenal fatigue fix your menopausal symptoms, it's also gonna have physiology balancing effects that are gonna affect your whole body. It's gonna strengthen literally every system and every function in your body. Metabolism normalizes, immune and digestive systems balance out and perform like they should. You sleep through the night and even wake up refreshed when you get up. Women of a menopausal age, they need individual guidance, targeted dietary advice, unique guidance on the various lifestyle factors that are either hurting or helping them. And they're gonna need targeted supplementation with things like omega-3s or resveratrol or berberine or pregnenolone and others, all of which I talk about in detail on other videos on this channel. Heal your adrenal fatigue, and I guarantee you're gonna feel and function at your optimum through perimenopause, through menopause, and beyond. Now watch the video that's up next in the bottom right-hand corner you'll get a better idea of what it really takes to heal. All my best.